Hello, it's Rick Walker, and I want to walk you through the Facebook for Realtors 2016 PDF real quick. Uh, I've sent you the PDF, and uh, if you've lost it, it's all right here on the big video. So here we go. A good marketing plan. It's more than just having a website and a Facebook page, and then if you build it, they will come. What you need is a digital system that's constantly working for you so that your properties and listings can be found by people no matter where they are online at any time, day or night. People are all over the place online. Think about what you do in a day. And there's no way to track what everyone is doing, so you need to be as many places as possible so that you can get in front of them when they are looking for a house, when they are looking to buy a house, when they're looking to sell a house, when they're tired of dealing with their for sale by owner business. <laughs> Different demographics use different sources to research a home before buying or selling a house. Very, very powerful if you have a system in place so that you keep showing up in front of that person. Imagine how powerful that would be if they are looking at, say, four or five different houses and one house keeps showing up on their Facebook news feed or they see it on Twitter or Instagram somewhere, one of their social channels, or they receive direct mail or they get it in an email follow-up sequence, or they watch a video, uh, they hit a landing page, there's some lead magnet that helps them. Anything at all that you can do to get in front of people who are ready to buy, sell, or find an agent, or need some help, that's what you should do. That's what we're gonna go over in this video today. Most people just wanna do the fun stuff, but you have to have a strategy in place first, because how do you know what tactics to use if you don't have that bullseye right in the middle that you're headed for? So you need to put together a strategy first, and to do that, you define your goals. You get very specific. To create your list of goals, just ask a few questions. I've put a few of them right here. Who will make up the majority of sales? Are you going after buyers? Are you going after sellers? Are you going after FISBOs? What is it? Where will you find these prospects? Write that down. Make a note of it, because this is going to be the filter that everything runs through. What methods will you use to convert them? What is the time frame for reaching these goals? Those are just four. You could add 10 more to that and really narrow down your strategy, but the point of this is get a strategy in place before you start using tactics. Then you know what tactics to use. Then you know, do you need a mobile app? Do you need a website, landing page, email marketing, direct mail? You, then you know what tactics to throw at the strategy. Defining your target market is what I'm talking about here, your ideal client. Uh, how old are they? their goals, who influences the purchase? Is it the husband, the wife, the kids? And what problem can you solve for them? That's why you're watching this video, solutions. You want a solution, that's what people are looking for. Show people that you can help them by actually helping them. And this doesn't mean you're not gonna work with other types of people, it just means your marketing and advertising is gonna be focused on your ideal client. So define your target ideal client. There's a few questions that will help you do that. The biggest one being that last one, what problem can you solve for them? And then solve it for them. Give them things for free. That's the beauty of lead magnets and landing pages and all that stuff you hear about. That's really what it is. It's a solution to a problem they're looking for. So when someone types into Google, what is my home worth? You want a landing page to pop up that says, what's my home worth.com or how much is my home worth.com, whatever it is. They click on a button, they put in some information, you send them an email back that says, here's what your home is worth. Let me know how else I can help you. How great would that be? You've got all their information now. You know they're trying to sell their home. Solve problems for people. Show you can help by helping them. Where should you market? Realtor site, is email marketing right for you? Landing pages, Facebook business page, that gets a big check mark for me, that's what we're doing here. Twitter, Periscope, if you don't know about Periscope, check into it, download the app. If you have a Twitter account, it'll hook up to your Twitter account, and then you can broadcast live from your open house. It shows right up in your Twitter feed. You can even save it in your phone and post it to Facebook. It's a great idea, no one's doing it. It's, it just shows that you know how to market your house, so when someone is looking to sell their house, or you're talking to someone who's a for sale by owner, you can tell them all the stuff that you're doing. And then mobile messaging and text message marketing too, very effective. I'm sure you've seen text this to that on real estate signs. You may have one yourself, but it's great because you get uh, to collect phone numbers. You can send a 
set it up where it is automatic. It sends a link back with pictures. And a lot of times people will drive by a house. They don't have time to stop in. They don't want to call and talk to someone and be sold, but they're looking to buy. You know, that's the big thing you've heard a million times probably. People do want to buy. They are looking to buy. They just don't want to be sold to. So text marketing is great because you get their phone number. They get a link right back where they can basically look at the flyer and pictures and, and all the specs on a house when they just drive by. As long as you're everywhere that your ideal client is going to be, that will help increase your number one brand awareness. And it'll help you market to different sets of people too. The seven to 10 rule is interesting. It takes seven to 10 times for someone to see your message before they take action. So even if they're ready to buy a house, it takes seven to 10 times for them to see that particular house or your particular branding before they jump in on that house or call you or want to see the house and move forward. Get in front of that person as many times as possible. And I'm going to show you how to do that with just using Facebook. All these other things are great too, but we're just talking about Facebook here. All right, let's talk about listing sites. In marketing, once someone gets a little bit of a breeze about you, you don't want them to lose the scent. You want to eliminate distractions so that the path to the sale is a lot quicker and shorter. Now on the listing site, you're competing with other listings, other agents, but here's a cool thing you can do. Turn your listing, just pick one that's a really hot property maybe, or that you're not getting any action on. Take that and turn it into its own landing page. So basically it's its own one page website for that particular listing. Send it to people who you think will provide a good referral. Because when people see that you've put up a landing page that's beautiful and covers everything for one particular house, it's going to be a lot easier for you to go to someone and say, Hey, Mr. Fizbo, Hey, Mr. Seller, look what I'll do to market your property. The people who are doing that are having success. Let's get you moving in that direction. That's what we're doing here in this video today. How about this for a landing page? This is just a uh, house in Seattle, Washington. But what if this was one of your homes? Wouldn't you be proud of that? What if you could show this to a homeowner or a Fizbo and say, I can create that for you for your listing. And I'll show you exactly how I'm going to market it. Great landing page. If you go down further on the page, you'll see pictures, sales copy, all the things that people are looking for. They can scroll right through this on their phone, desktop, or on their tablet and see if this is the right home for them. It's great copy. Ready to move in? I kind of. Let's schedule a showing at the very least. And there's the button for that. So we talked about this earlier, sending people to a landing page and creating a lead magnet. Here's a few ideas I just wanted to give to you so I don't just kind of throw it out there and you're like, I don't know how to do that. Here's some ideas. You could type this up in a Word document, save it as a PDF, and attach it to an email. Be unique too. You could do stuff like find the typo on this page and I'll set up a free landing page like this one for you and host it for a month if you'll let me do your listing. What a great lead magnet that is. Wait, I get that website for free for my house? People are, you know how they are. When they're trying to sell their house, they want to sell that property. They want to move it. So there's great ways to send people to a landing page and then create a lead magnet when they get to that landing page. And there are a few of them. Here's another example, totally different style of landing page. It's when to sell my home.com. I talked about it a little bit earlier. What's my house worth? Get a free quote, no strings attached, thinking of selling. Let us assess your home's value to help you decide when to move. There's a very simple call to action. Get my home value now. Thinking of selling? Yes. You're getting them to say yes. I do want a free quote. I don't want strings attached. Remember, I don't want to be sold to. And then let us do the work for you. We'll assess your home's value to help you decide when to move, not if you're going to move. We're moving them forward with languaging and wording. And that's the whole website right there. That's the whole page. When you click on that button, it asks you for contact information. Of course, we need to know the address of the property. So that's great information and they're getting some good information back. But this shows that you can help people by actually helping them. Simple landing page, very clean, very easy to decide what to do. Just another idea. Now, the tricky part is getting people to your landing page. You got this great landing page set up and how do you get traffic? Well, that's where Facebook ads come in. You don't just buy ads that are kind of generic and you throw them out there. Zip code is good, but don't just do zip codes. Instead, put them in front of people who are likely to buy. The links in your Facebook ads should go to your landing page or blog or a private Facebook group that focuses on helping sellers market their home. Show you can help them by helping them. Now here's a secret. When you are running Facebook ads, 
you're going to get a higher percentage of your ads approved and more traffic and it's going to cost less if your ad leads to another page inside of Facebook. You can add your landing page inside of Facebook. The ones that I've shown you, those can be a tab in your Facebook. So you run an ad and it sends people to the landing page, which is just another tab on your Facebook page. And you're going to get a lot more opt-ins. You're going to get a lot lower cost and you'll get a lot more traffic doing it that way. You don't have to do it that way, but it gives you a little bit of an edge. Now I'm going to go through some of these really quick as far as how to reach people because this information is on Facebook. I'll leave it up on screen here, but there's the information about uh, location. You can reach them in areas where they live or where they do business. You can target leads by you know anything, city, country, state, zip code, etc. You can find demographics. Uh, you can find interests, behaviors, and that's where it gets really interesting. So let's jump to this picture here. This is a screenshot of what it looks like inside the Facebook Ads Manager. So I've already started filling out the information here. Um, I haven't chosen a city or anything. I just want to show you some targeting options. You can see age 18 to 65, both genders. Didn't put any interest in there yet. May not. Uh, behaviors. Check this out. You can go residential properties and in that drop down you can find likely to move. There are about 9.2 million people likely to move in the United States in the next 180 days. Now that's very broad targeting. So we're gonna narrow this down just a little bit for you. I live in Arizona and so let's pick Arizona here. The number just decreased. I added Arizona in. Look at that though. People likely to move ages 18 to 65 180,000 people in the state of Arizona. Pretty good pond to fish in. People who are likely to move. They got to sell their house and they got to buy a new one. You should get in on that. All right, now as we move through the Facebook ad manager, you want to name this audience once you've kind of got it narrowed down to home buyers, um, probably in Arizona, or people likely to move in Arizona would be even better actually. But there's 180,000 people there. Let's go look how much further we can drill down. Scottsdale, Mesa, Gilbert, Chandler, wherever you are and you want your properties to be, just include the zip code and you'll find yourself with an even more targeted area to find people who are likely to move. So I plugged in 85260 in Scottsdale. It's near my office. And just in that little area that's highlighted right there, there's 1,600 people likely to move in the next 180 days. I'm going to target those people. You put an ad on Facebook and show it to them over and over. Remember our 7 to 10 rule? Get them to opt in for a lead magnet. Send them to your landing page. Send them a follow-up email. Stay in touch with them. Show you can help them by helping them. There's 1,600 prospects for you sitting right there just in that zip code. That's amazing. Now in the PDF, I showed you some things that Facebook will tell you also, but I just want to walk through it real quick. Different ways to reach prospects. There's page post engagement. That's just getting people to like and comment on your post. Uh, page likes. You want people to like your Facebook page. That's also an option in the ads manager. You can pay for people that are in that target area to like, just simply like your page. But what happens when they do? Once they like your page, it's like having a warm list of prospects. Now, every time you post, they're going, hmm, this person really knows what they're talking about, or that really helped me. A couple of other ways to do this, clicks to website. That's your landing page. Your website may be the landing page inside your Facebook page. Hope this is not confusing, but you'll bring more people to your website, whether it's a landing page, website, whatever it is you have set up when you use that setting in the ads manager. Let's leave website conversions for another time. You can certainly look it up in the Facebook ads manager and find out more about it. Okay, these are cool. Video views are the most engaging things you get on Facebook. They cost less. You get more people engaging. You'll get more people sharing. If you could do a video inside a home from an open house that you're sitting at that's empty, fire up the Periscope. Do a live broadcast. Save the video in your phone. Then post it to Facebook. And then spend a little bit of money on video views. How great is that? People are going to engage with you once you start doing that. Local awareness also great. Easily reach people in a zip code and area around your business, around your residence, around the area that you want to sell in. So that's another great option inside the Facebook ad manager. Now this is brand new. This new feature lead ads is really cool. The second someone hits that button, they don't have to fill in their information. It's already filled in for them. It's got Rick and it's got Rick Walker's email address. That's me. And then boom, you hit the button off it goes and it sends them to wherever you want to send them to. You also collect their email information. So now they're on your list. 
as a warm lead. Lead ads, very cool, works with only mobile devices. Custom audiences and lookalike audiences are big. We'll talk about lookalike audiences later. You can read about it there on screen. You can also go to Facebook and read about it. But first you need a custom audience. You can't create a lookalike audience until you've got another audience already set up. Custom audiences are fantastic. It's really what you need to do. And I'm gonna dedicate an entire video to how to put together a custom audience. But for this video, let me just give you one idea. Let's say you have an email list of prospects. You could upload that email list into the Facebook Ads Manager and save it as a custom audience. So if these people have been receiving your emails or your newsletter, now there's one way to contact them. The second way is you can advertise to your custom audience. So you create an ad and it shows to only those people on that email list. You can do it with uh, phone numbers as well. We've had some great success with phone numbers here lately and it used to be the other way around. But it finds everyone on your email list that use that email address to sign up for their Facebook account. And then Facebook goes and sweeps and crawls and does everything it can and grabs those and puts them in a neat little file called custom audience. And then you name the file custom audience um, Scottsdale, Arizona. And now when you want to run an ad, you just it says, do you want to create a new audience or use a custom audience? Click, I'll use the custom audience. I'll send it to everyone who is on my email list. How great is that? And then lookalike audiences. Like I said, we'll talk about that more in depth later, but that basically goes in and finds the characteristics of your custom audience, their likes, their hobbies, their books they like, the area they live in, that kind of thing, and creates another set of people that you are not in contact with. And there's a great possibility that those people will be interested in what you have to offer as well. Retargeting is one of my favorite things. A lot of people will go to your website or your landing page and actually not do anything. Facebook gives you a little piece of code. You don't have to know anything about coding. You just have to know how to copy and paste. And it's called a snippet or a pixel. You take that and put it into your landing page. You put it into the head of your landing page. Same place you would put like Google Analytics. If you don't know how to do it, whoever set up your web page, give it to them. They'll know how to do it. But what happens is for the next 180 days, which is a long time, everyone who went to your page that did not take action will continue to see your ads in Facebook in their newsfeed. I'm sure you've been shopping for something before and that thing keeps following you around all over the internet. That's basically what this is, only it's using Facebook. You can remarket to everyone who's been to your landing page or your website, whatever it is, wherever you can paste that code into your site, it puts a cookie into their computer and follows them around and shows them your ads for the next 180 days. So this is what I was talking about earlier. Remember when I said people are gonna be looking for five, six, seven different properties and yours keeps showing up in front of them? you know, there's something about that one house. I keep seeing it. We should call. We should call that realtor. Get in front of those people. One great way to do it. Even when people say no, they go to your landing page. They don't take the lead magnet. They've just been there and looked around, but they didn't do anything. Otherwise, you would never know they were there. Now you will. You can retarget these people. And here's one cool secret about this retargeting thing. When they go to your page and they don't do anything, Facebook says, ah, and here's their email address for you. I'll put it over in this custom audience called people who went to my page but didn't do anything for you. It'll create a new custom audience for you and it'll have all of their email addresses right there. So everyone who visited your page, now you could set up an ad and send something to them that's similar to the lead magnet, but maybe a little bit different since they didn't take the bait that time. But let's stay in front of them with retargeting. It's the coolest thing. It's my favorite feature of Facebook. Okay, I think that's enough for today. That's a lot, a lot to digest. Just to recap all of this, the first thing you gotta do is define your goals and your target client. Figure that out. Then you know the strategy and the tactics to put together. Then create the ads, then you target the ads if you wanna use a static image in your ad. You can use carousel ads now, which you've seen those probably before. It's got four or five pictures underneath the ad. What a great way to show different rooms, different features of the house. If they click on it and like it, send them to a landing page. Put the landing page inside of Facebook. I can do that for you. We can show you how to do that. And then once they go to the landing page, if they don't do anything, you retarget them. You stay in front of them. And then you're going to get their email. So we want to send them emails also to continue to engage with them throughout their process. I'm creating some more videos and some more of these PDFs so we can walk through retargeting. We can walk through lead ads. We can do landing pages, all that kind of stuff. And I want to answer your questions too. So before I get the next video put together, 
send me your questions. There's my email. It's rickwalker2k9 at gmail. That's my private personal Gmail account. It's not my business account. You can also post them to the Facebook page if you want to. But if you have any questions, you don't understand something, let me know. I'll send you an email back, of course, and we'll tackle it in the next video because I assume if you have a question, then a lot of people might have the same question. Thanks for taking time to watch this. I hope that helped walk you through that PDF just a little bit. If you want some of this service done for you, of course, we do that. Anything that I can help you with as you market your real estate business, I'm here. Let me know. I look forward to talking to you and I'll see you in the next video and see you online.